What up, everybody? Nameless here, and I have an update for you guys. Now, listen, the last time we made an overclock video was quite some time. I mean, it was over like a year and a half, I think over two years ago now, and I just posted it again because it was working for some people on the new game. However, if you have a PlayStation 5 scuff, uh, through the comments, I've realized that it wasn't working for some of you guys or it was getting mess messed up. So I have the updated version and this will 1000% work for your PlayStation 5 scuff. If you haven't been playing Overclock, it is a major difference. So here's the updated video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I know you guys have to play the game. I don't want to waste any of your precious time. So guys, it's going to be very similar to the last one. Like I said, if you have a PlayStation 5 scuff, you have to download this updated uh driver for it and this is it so the link will be in the description below it's another lord of mice uh download shout out to them for always providing the overclocking for the controller you're going to download the third one here you're going to click the third one and then you're going to click download once it's downloaded it's going to be uh right here if you're using chrome you're going to extract it to your desktop i've already downloaded it so i'm just going to go over to the folder it's extracted and what we're going to do is you don't have to read any of this stuff you're just going to click driver you're going to click setup now make sure your controller is also plugged in at this time okay now you're gonna go to all and you're gonna find the one wireless controller now i've already overclocked mine but i'm gonna unplug it so you can see that that is my controller it's going to disappear i'm going to plug it back in okay now the difference in the playstation 5 controller is that this has to be on 8000 okay last time it was on 1000 for the controllers that we had uh the ps4 controllers or whatever controller you had prior to this in this generation you had to put it on 1000 now we're going to put it on 8000 okay filter on device and install service when you unplug and replug your controller in you will see it is going to change to yes 8001 that is all you have to do guys and every time that you get on it will automatically be set to this overclocked uh rate and also make sure you keep it in the same usb port in your pc that was another thing that i saw people putting in the comments is why it was changing whenever they would change the the usb port is because you're overclocking the controller in that port so make sure you keep it in that same one uh, and then also another update is if you have an Xbox, a newer Xbox controller, this will not work for you. It actually could make that controller worse. So do not do this if you're running an Xbox controller, only if you're running a PlayStation 5. This will work for any different modded uh, PlayStation 5 controller that you have. And this is a must to me, guys. So go ahead, try this out. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm sorry that I didn't have a fix faster for you guys, but we have it now. So click the link in the description, follow along these steps and you'll be on your road to paradise. Take it easy, guys. Much love, and I'll see you in the next video.